Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics today. You know our work vehicle is a Mercedes ML320 that we put to the test all the time. We pull everything here with that thing. All the cars, SUVs, we hold them with that thing. So uh, we got tired of driving at night and not being able to see. So we got some LED bulbs. It has the projectors in it, but uh, those are not bright at all. We'll show you what they look like now. Okay, with factory bulbs, stay with us, we'll show you what they look like. And after that, we're going to install LEDs, really good brand, guys. Not any brand is a good brand, so we need to be careful what you buy. Okay, and those are the factory bulbs right there. That's what they look like. Okay, so that's what it is. You can see that yellowish light, and you can see, you cannot almost see nothing at night. So. We decided to go with uh, aux beam right here. We're gonna install on the low beams and high beams as well. We got 8,000 LM for the low beams and 72 for the high beams. Stay with us, we're going to install them now, show you how to do that and uh, see what we think about it. So the easiest way to replace those on the Mercedes is actually to remove the headlight. You can actually, if you have a small hand, you can do it, do it through the back, but it's not convenient at all. And I'll show you how to do that now, guys. We'll show you so uh, you can get the, that plastic trim out of there. Okay, pretty easy. Once we remove it, okay, let me show you now. All we need to do, just push that thing down and this thing on the phone down as well. Now we have two nuts. Okay, right there, that you need to remove with a 10 millimeter. Okay, one is out and now the other one as well. And then we have one more on top, so it's pretty simple. Not even breaking the fingers trying to reach the bulb. Now we need to lift it up right there because it goes in a certain spot and you pull it out in an angle. It comes only in a certain angle now. Uh, okay, because, because of the glides on the bottom. Okay, this one is almost there. Okay, now all we got left we don't even have to remove the wires and we're going to replace the bulbs now. That's for low beams right here. So we need to lift it up right here, okay? A little bit this piece so we can, we can remove the wires and there is one more like that on the bottom as well. So we can, we can unhook the wires pretty, pretty easy and we can just pull the bulb out of there now. Okay, almost there. That's a little bit, a little bit tricky, but uh, it's not that complicated. That's why it's easier to remove the whole headlight instead of just uh, trying to replace the bulb. Okay, now we need to push down and turn. Okay, counterclockwise. <laughs> Sorry, the camera piece in the way. And that's what the bulb looks like. I don't know what's wrong with ours, but that doesn't seem good at all. <laughs> Look at that thing. I don't know how we, how that thing was working actually. It was still working fine, but I never seen a bubble like that before. Oh yeah, guys, those are the LED bulbs, aux beam right here. We'll have the link in the description below. Uh, it comes with the manual and everything, and that's the bulb right here. So we're going to install it and see. Uh, it looks really well built. As you can see, it comes with the fan, so it shouldn't have any heating problems like some of the other uh, bulbs on the market. All right, guys, we got it now. We had to do some modifications here. So, uh, yeah, that Mercedes, it's not made for those, actually, but uh, we like them so much. We have them on another vehicle that we made it work, and we will recommend them, but make sure they fit your vehicle before you buy them. Uh, okay, that's what it is. We had to cut a little bit that plate that locks it in place because otherwise it was not able to fit and uh, now installation is pretty simple you just turn it uh, turn it clockwise this time like that and all we have to do just connect the wire now okay and we're going to see if it's going to work actually and how it's going to look on this one okay all we got to do install the lid put it back together all right guys and what we found out that if we use the f16 for high beams uh, F16 is there a little bit lower profile than the other ones and we modified our our uh, locking plate here a little bit so I think we think it will fit that way uh, because it's way better to have the high beams and the low beams with LEDs they will look great and 
will have great visibility as well. And with projector, low beams, we won't be blinding people. High beams, you turn them, you're supposed to switch them, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, guys, we got it there and now we need to find a place actually for all the cables and stuff there. And uh, should be enough space for the fan to clear and get cool air. Okay, and now uh, all we have to do is just install the cap and stay with us. We're gonna see what they look like now. The moment of the truth, see if it's worth the money. Alright guys, let's see what it looks like now. Okay, that's uh, left hand side with uh, LED, the driver's side. So we're still waiting on the driver, which might take a while. Okay, you can see high beams and low beams and now just low beams. Okay, let's see now. Yep, yeah, you, can, you can see the difference. Let's check on the door now, what it looks like. You can see it's the same pattern, the way it, uh, it, it uh, transforms the light. So that's pretty nice. It won't blind anybody, but it's pretty bright. So they're amazing so far. Okay guys, so we installed the other side as well. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like with both of them now. Okay, let's turn the lights off now in the shop and let's uh, see the high beams as well. Okay, look at that. that, that looks amazing. That light is beautiful, bright light. Not like yellowish like the factory one. So that's what they look like now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, let us know what you think and thank you for watching us.